Well, the basis of these guidelines which have been issued to all states and uh, for the police uh, to act upon these guidelines is on the basis of understanding that the junior level or police officials or the state level police officials were not really reading into the particular section of Information Technology Act, Section 66A, in the correct manner. That they were either misreading it or getting over-enthusiastic about the implementation. Now, the drafters of this particular section intended that there should be no misuse of online uh, medium or online platform or social media uh, for the purpose of, uh, of, of disrespecting a religion of inciting violence and of course they also wanted to protect reputations uh, however in the recent instances we've seen anyone and uh, anyone who would want to even express their opinion who came under the purview or came under uh, a fire from uh, extremist organizations who could actually go ahead and, and complain against them Right now, uh, according to this particular guideline, uh, a DCP level officer for rural area and IG level officer for the urban area will have to put it down in writing as to the reasons they would find if ever they go ahead for an arrest under this particular section of the Information Technology Act. Well, absolutely. This is a, it seems like a very stopgap arrangement or at least a face-saving measure uh, coming from the um, immense amount of outrage that came out of the Palghar incident. So what we are understanding right now is that while the government has not amended this particular section, of course the government can't, they'll have to bring it in the parliament for that. There are certain sections of the members of parliament, uh, young uh, members of parliament, about nine of them cutting across party lines who have in fact approached the parliament over the past couple of days, uh, officially trying to move for a discussion, uh, a discussion against Section 66A, a discussion asking for the amendment of the Information Technology Act. For now, the amendment seems like a fast stretch. So, so for the time being, the government seems to have simply gone ahead with this stopgap arrangement of a guideline. At the same time, we've seen the matter even come up in the Supreme Court with the Chief Justice of India made a scathing remark saying that we've been waiting for someone to come up with this. In fact, this is such a serious matter, the Chief Justice said, that we were even thinking of taking a serious motor cognizance of it. And they have asked the Attorney General of India to join the case, to join the petition from tomorrow on so that he can represent the Union of India's uh, stand in this particular section. And they could take it forward from there.